<laughs> Welcome back to damn that was loud. Welcome back to another edition of Biker Stuff, or as most of you guys have been calling it, BS. What I have for you guys today, what Jackson? It's a dog. Have you guys seen my dog? He's such a dog. Oh, he's like the most dog dog ever. I gotta film, so you can just you can just chill there. Today, I actually have something that's pretty cool. Uh, my buddy Joey actually gave me this helmet. He, he bought it and he showed it off to me and he showed me all like how um. Shitty, we'll use the word interesting right now. How interesting the helmet was, and it's something that I actually wanted to buy for a long time, but didn't want to spend 500 bones on something that I wasn't sure if it was worth it. And if you weren't either, you're gonna get an honest opinion about it today, so you can decide whether or not it's right for you. But before we get any further, uh, my buddy Joey, the one who let me borrow it, was actually just involved in an accident. Um, I'll put his link to his Instagram, you guys can go wish him a, a get well soon. Uh, he's pretty banged up. I don't think anything was broken, but for the most part, just mostly rash. He's, he's bruised up pretty bad. Both the bike looks fixable and he will make a full recovery, so that's really good news. Um, but you know, just keep him in your thoughts. I'd appreciate that. But if you guys still don't know by the title or the thumbnail or anything else about what this video is about, I got something. I got a treat. <laughs> Can you do the audio? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna put it back down. And then when you edit it later, if you could do the audio of like the halo so it doesn't look like, so it doesn't look like, so my shitty singing? Okay. Not yet. Now, even if you don't like video games at all, you probably at least have heard of Halo, or your girlfriend's at least heard of Halo, and there's a good chance that even your mom has heard of Halo. So yeah, this is the Master Chief motorcycle helmet. Uh, it's from a game called Halo. If you guys, again, are stupid, Halo is a very popular video game. That's why I'm insulting you over and over again. At least it was really popular back in the day. It used to be Call of Duty versus Halo, and now it seems like no one plays either one of those games unless they were to just bring it to the PC. Holy shit, Microsoft! Just one thing! All I ask is one thing! And then, calm down. It's gonna be okay. You know? we want. It's not like we wanted Halo on the PC so bad that people made a custom version off of the Russia one that you were gonna make and release to the PC, but then once it got put up for like literally a day, you guys put a cease and desist on every streamer and YouTuber who's playing the game when it's really what Halo should have been. Keep it together. Keep it together, Dan. Keep it together. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a Halo DOT approved motorcycle helmet. That's right, it's DOT approved, which uh, on the surface means absolutely nothing to me because even those shitty Predator helmets, the ones that look like the movie Predator, that literally fall apart if you hold them incorrectly, those, those are technically DOT approved. So DOT approval means nothing to me, it, it's just a sticker at this point. The Halo franchise is an award winning, who cares, not on PC. And this isn't even modeled after the good Halo, Halo 2 or Halo 3, Master Chief. Um, this is modeled after what appears to be either Halo Reach or Halo 4. I don't think Halo 5. I think this came out before Halo 5, but then again, I have no idea. It says ages 17 and up, so if you're 16, get fucked. Uh, let's open it up here, though. And this has been worn. It's not like an unboxing video. This is this is his. He's shown it off to me a couple times. Sword not included, by the way. And uh, he's included this little piece of styrofoam. We'll get into that in a little bit. And then a user's manual if you don't know how to wear a helmet. Let's take it out of the bag here, which is actually kind of cool. You know, it says Master Chief Motorcycle Helmet. They spent, they obviously spent more money on that than they did the actual helmet. Holy crap, man. Come on. Wow, that took some work. Now, what's the first thing you notice? Oh, how ungodly large it is? You don't say. I'm not a huge person. I'm five foot eight. Um, but I'm stocky. I'm wide. Like, my shoulders are pretty wide and um, like my upper torso, it's not small, like. And then you put this thing next to me. What? Yeah, at first glance, it's very easy to tell just how big this thing is. Like, look at, look at, <laughs> look how big this thing, it's huge. It's the biggest motorcycle helmet I've ever seen. I mean, geez, look at this thing. It, it's absolutely massive. Now, he did tell me to be extra careful with the visor because if you get this visor scratched, I think there's no replacements, he said. He's, he either said that there's no way to replace it or there's no replacements available. Either way, don't scratch the visor. And it, it does lift somehow. We'll figure this out. Uh, like, is it just, yeah, there you go, look at that. That's what you get. That's your open, that's your open. The whole helmet, the whole top of it, it's a modular technically but the bottom of it, which leads me to believe that this is not structural at all, meaning that if you hit your face, this is the equivalent of wearing a three quarters helmet. So your chin, your face, all of that's not gonna matter if it hits like a curb, 
hits down like that, I guarantee you this whole part is just gonna break off and then there goes your beautiful teeth. It, it just feels so cheap. And like all the stuff on the outside is just like probably like really cheap ABS plastic. Like just touching it and feeling it, listening to when it creak when you, I'm, I'm applying almost no pressure. Yeah, it's just, it feels so cheap. Was it the Halo 3 Special Edition came with a helmet that you would put over the games, I think? Something like that? There's a Special Edition that came with a helmet that was, it was too small to put on, but I think a lot of people ended up cutting around a lot of the stuff that was inside of it, just so they could wear it. I think even my buddy did that. And I remember touching those helmets, and they felt exactly like this, minus, minus some weight. And, to be fair, it's probably life-sized to the, uh, actual Master Chief. I mean, I think I think Master Chief's like seven foot one, seven two, something like that. I think John's pretty tall. On the inside, however, there's nothing. There's no padding on this inside. Okay, this is a medium, so it's probably gonna fit a little small on me. I usually wear larges, but I, I am gonna try it on real quick, because I, I haven't worn it yet. This is, this is unwearable. The fuck is this thing? Uh, let's talk about this. This padding right here is something that he made for himself to put in the chin because there's no, there's nothing stopping it from hitting your chin. You hit wind, it's gonna hit your fucking jaw. Look at, look at this. If I don't know if you can see that. There's no room. My chin is literally touching the inside of this, and then he he, he puts this to keep his, the wind from face fucking him all the time. That is the most uncomfortable helmet ever. And it's not, it's not because it's too small, because it's not. <clears throat> the padding stops about here. So all of like, a regular motorcycle will hug you from your neck up. The padding on this for the head stops here. So like, you can very clearly feel the ridge on the top. It's hard to explain, but the padding stops here on the helmet where you're wearing it, leaving this all exposed. And then the padding stops about here on the cheek well and it's very sloppy like you could do this all day long so there's almost no touching here so it's not that the helmet's too small for me it's just that it's not designed well like I said the DOT approval means nothing to me mostly because it's not hard to get DOT approved I mean essentially it's just some foam and ABS plastic it really is there's $15 helmets out there that are DOT approved and I'm not joking let me go ahead and tell you why because the DOT approval doesn't require you to have this part of your helmet approved so all the structural is from the here back, essentially this part, the, the top of where your brain usually goes. So this part doesn't mean anything. And that's what you'll see in a lot of cheap helmets is that they'll skimp out on this part because it doesn't matter. All they need to do is get a DOT approved, the rest of it doesn't matter. So they get the minimum requirements to, to receive their DOT approved. That's all I'm trying to say. And these aren't these aren't cheap, right? Let me, let, me, let me go see what they go for right now on Amazon. These things are still 500 plus dollars. Like I get it, it's a novelty. You don't want to wear this as your everyday helmet, but there's some people who do. I get it. I like, I enjoy the nostalgia specifically of the Halo days for me. Halo 2 was some of my best times ever because I met my best friends on Halo 2. And that's just, that's just how the internet works, right? And I get why you'd want to wear something like this. I mean, it's cool looking if you're not wearing it. I mean, it makes you, feel, I feel like a Spartan wearing it, even though that I look like a 12 year old wearing my daddy's motorcycle helmet. I don't mean to bash on this product so hard. I mean, it's a, it's a terrible product if you want a motorcycle helmet. And that's what you that's what you bought. You bought a motorcycle helmet to protect your head, right? But it's not gonna save you. There's no way. Any, any wreck over 40 miles an hour, this thing's gonna fall apart. And I would never trust my life with something like this, you know? But that's coming from a guy who wears Icon, whatever. I just can't help but think like the designers of this could have done such a better job to wear like, the size is probably the biggest problem for me is like how overly large it is. I'm not even aware of this on the road because first of all, I don't feel safe with it. And second of all, that I guarantee you anything over like 80 miles an hour, the wind is gonna catch every little thing and just become a problem, man. If the variant pulls at high speeds, I can't imagine what this thing does because this is like a variant that someone built with Play-Doh, I, I don't know. At least it was terribly executed. I mean, it, as far as looks, it looks cool. Like, the designing is pretty spot on. But it's, first of all, it's just overly big. It's just too big. 
<clears throat> for 500 bucks, I'd want something that can protect my life and look cool. Some of us just settle for one or the other. There's gonna be people who ask me questions like, how's the novelty value of it? You know, is, is the $500 worth it just to let it sit on the shelf and then you wear it to go LARP or, or role play or go to your, your weeaboo conventions or, or whatever you do, you know? But the novelty aspect of it, you know, is $500 worth a DOT approved helmet to just sit on the shelf and be a talking point? And then the answer is no. Uh, because you can buy replica helmets that aren't DOT approved, that you don't have to wear on motorcycles, that you can role play or um, you know do whatever you want with them for way less. You can get 100% accurate, to scale, perfectly fitting, high quality uh, replica of the actual Master Chief helmet for a little bit less than that, a lot less actually. And it'll be more comfortable to breathe better and it won't hurt to wear. This hurts to wear. So if you're asking yourself, Dan, I have $500 to spend and I want a cool looking helmet, is this the helmet to get? The answer is go fuck yourself. It's not. This is not the right helmet. Don't do this. What's the verdict? Looks cool. Not $500 worth. Now that's some BS. Get it? Because biker stuff? No? Alright. Fine. Fine then. Nope, Jax, we're done. We're going. We're leaving. Bullshit!